So everything I'm about to rhyme can never be known by your mind. So here's my suggestion. Instead, use your attention to see the full view. Don't think of this as new information. Give your mind a vacation from all complications because the fallacy in waking up to non-duality is believing that enlightenment is a future achievement. Something that comes in time after a long refinement of the body and mind. Something to grasp, to get or to gain, but that's all in vain. The relief from transcending the belief in separation doesn't come from contemplation, training concentration, or reaching a high vibration. In actuality, awakening is simply the clear seeing of reality. So look with me now, in your current experience, how you may believe your consciousness is on the inside and matter is on the outside. It may at first seem crazy to believe otherwise. But notice, it is a belief, an idea. Even if that's how it appears, look in your experience. Reality is this single, indivisible field of appearance. Subject, object, mind, matter, self, other. All these dualities have a relative reality, but ultimately, they're all created by thinking. Without thinking, there is just this, this one homogeneous field of luminous awareness. Notice, all thoughts, feelings, perceptions and sensations, every apparent location, time and place appears and disappears in this same open, empty space, timeless, dimensionless awareness. This is true grace. So, stay aware that you're aware. Be knowingly this awareness that's everywhere. And notice, it didn't come from anywhere, and it isn't going anywhere. It has no end, and it didn't begin. It's this ever-present, timeless space that your whole life's unfolding within, and it's you. Non-duality, which means not two. Which, despite what they tell you, doesn't mean oneness, and it doesn't mean nothing. It's what all those concepts appear within. This. Sat, chit, ananda. Existence, consciousness, bliss. Awareness. Simply what is. This ever-present isness. Be this knowingly. That's all you need. So while we simply be, let's deepen our inquiry. If you're still confused, let's ask the question, who are you? Thoughts appear and disappear, but you, awareness, remain fully here. Feelings appear and disappear, but you, awareness, remain fully here. In fact, every thought, feeling, sensation, perception, Everything you could ever experience, without exception, appears and disappears, but you, this awareness, remain fully here, untouched and undisturbed, standing alone, you're already home, ever-present, self-shining. It's hiding as what already is. That's the cosmic joke. No need to smoke the DMT to find out you're already free. Just look closely and you'll see you're this, not the me in the mind-made story. This awareness has no duality. The seer and the seen are one, there's only seeing. The hearer and the heard are one, there's only hearing. The thinker and the thoughts are one, there's only thinking. 
the feeler and the feelings are one. There's only feeling. And seeing, hearing, thinking, feeling, and everything else is just what's appearing. No subject, no object, just God's infinite being, the only reality. Be this knowingly. That's non-duality. Simply this, awareness, existence, consciousness, bliss.